Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Praise be to God. It's the last Sunday in the month of August, the 30th of August, 2020. And in our church calendar, the 12th Sunday after Trinity, we give thanks to God for again counting us among the living and for giving us the privilege to be in His presence to study His Word. I call you again to pick your Bibles and turn with me as we look at our meditation for the day. Let us pray. Lord, your Spirit inspired holy men to write the scriptures for our learning and living. We pray that as we meditate on your living word this morning, we pray you inspire our hearts that what we read, hear, and meditate on will bring a new reawakening in our lives and help us to live according to your will here on earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For our meditation this morning, we are reading from Romans chapter 8, from verse 26 to 30. Romans 8, 26 to 30. I read, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The topic for our meditation says, the Spirit helps our weaknesses. The Spirit helps our weaknesses. Man, as created by God in the beginning and placed in the Garden of Eden, was very good. As the scripture tells us in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, that when God saw all that he was made, he saw that it was very good. And it was on that sixth day, God created man. When he created other things, he said they were good. But when he created man, he said it was very good. And in verse 28, God said man should rule, should subdue, and take authority over everything he had created. By that fact, it means that man in his created nature by God, there was no element of weakness in him. It was the fall of man that brought weakness. And therefore, our passage this morning, where we have read in Romans chapter 8, from verse 26, the apostle Paul told the Romans that God is able to send the Spirit to help us in our weakness, which is one of the functions of the Holy Spirit. Now, if you remember the story of Jesus and his disciples, why he was with them before he left them, he told them that he will send the Holy Spirit who will comfort them, who will help them. The Holy Spirit was to be their help. And where the deficiency of the disciples were shown was when they went to the Garden of Gethsemane with Jesus while he was at that hour of agony.
to pray in the garden of Gethsemane. He asked his disciples to watch with him, but they could not watch because they were weak. They could not pray. And he came, tries to meet them, sleeping, when he had told them to pray with him. He met them sleeping, and he said, could you not watch with me for an hour? So when it comes to the issue of prayer, we need the Holy Spirit. Every man, by his natural strength, is weak and cannot pray the way he should pray. And so Paul told the church in Rome, in that verse 26, he said, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes with groans that words cannot express. There are times you want to pray as an individual, but you just feel you don't know what to say. Either you are pressed with one challenge or the other, and you try to call upon God, you don't know how you could go about it. The Holy Spirit is able to help you. I love the commentary in the Daily Fountain, and I want to read from there. It says, prayer is a spiritual exercise that involves our whole being, the kind of prayer that touches the throne of God and causes commotion in the kingdom of darkness will not be a mere activity of mouth. Prayer is not just a mere activity or mumbling words from the mouth. It is something that has to do with the spirit because it is a battle. You are fighting with powers. You are fighting with authority. And so you need the Holy Spirit. And it says, when a man kneels in his own strength, he falls away by diverse thoughts and becomes wearied in the spirit. However, when he releases his thoughts and everything about him to the dictates of the Holy Spirit, he can never become bore in the place of prayer. If you release your thoughts to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit helps you in groaning. The Holy Spirit helps you in calling upon the Lord. He puts the right word in your mouth. When you depend on your strength, you can fail. There are times you want to say certain things you do not know how to say. The Holy Spirit is able to help you. He said, when you approach the throne of grace in the realm of prayer, invite the Spirit of God to take over. That is what it means to explore God. You need to engage Him because when the ability to express the deepest thoughts and feelings fail, it is the Spirit that pleads to God on your behalf. When you depend on the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will help you in your weakness. Your body cannot stand all that the enemy throws at you. The darts, the forces, the principalities, and everything that comes against you, your body in its naturalness cannot stand against them. But when you approach the throne of grace and you ask for the help of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit himself will come upon you and will grant you the grace to pray the way you should pray. Now there are burdens in our hearts and God is able to help us. When you carry any burden, if you carry it alone, you are carrying heavy burden. Jesus said, come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Carry that burden and allow the Holy Spirit who had come to dwell with us to help you to carry it. No wonder Jesus told his disciples in Acts before the ascension. He said, wait until you are clothed with the Holy Spirit. And when you are clothed, you'll be filled with power and you'll become my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Samaria, in Judea, and down to the utmost part of the earth. So it is not just witnessing in preaching, but in the place of prayer. Because prayer is work. Like the Romans will say, to walk is to pray, and to pray is to walk. The work of prayer demands the Holy Spirit to help you because you cannot do it on your own. He said, one of the ways through which God helps our weakness is by the leading us through his word. You cannot pray through the word of God and pray amiss. When the spirit is not involved, the flesh takes over and makes your request self-centered. 
brethren, as we go through this day, this last Sunday in this month of August, and looking forward to a new month in this week we have entered, we trust that the Lord will help you to always depend on the Holy Spirit. Where you cannot pray, where you feel you are weak, call upon him. The Holy Spirit is there. But one of the things you must know again is that the Holy Spirit does not live in a contaminated vessel. The Holy Spirit does not live in a contaminated vessel. And so when you want the Holy Spirit to help you in your weakness, you must submit your life unto the Lord. You must ask him to dwell with you. You must not do anything that will grieve the Holy Spirit, like Paul will tell us in the Ephesians, that we should not grieve the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit live and reign inside of you, and he will keep helping you in your weakness, that you'll be able to pray and walk in the way the Lord wants you to walk. I pray that this day, as you go to his presence, the Lord will be with you and will see you through. Let us pray. The prayer says, Heavenly Father, help me to always depend on the enablement of your spirit for effective prayer life in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you once again for your word. We ask that your spirit you have sent to live with us. Lord, may your spirit continue to help us in our weakness, that we will not miss out of all the benefits of him living with us. And as we seek you, may he continue to strengthen us, that we will find strength and walk the way you want us to walk. Thank you, Father, because we know you've heard us. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.